Big news this week, an entertainment district could be coming to American Family Field. But first, Menominee Falls-based corporation Kohl's has entered negotiations with a potential buyer for the department store chain. To talk with us this afternoon regarding this news is our partner with Milwaukee Business Journal, Mark Cass. And Mark, let's get right to it. What is likely sure. the largest local impact of this deal if it's finalized and Kohl's is acquired? You know, probably would be the corporate headquarters that's here. It's out of Menominee Falls, a, a large campus with, you know, lots of employees, you know, over a thousand employees out there. You're likely to see some cuts there. I think there would still be employees out there. There probably would still be an office out there. But clearly, if you have an owner now of the company, they've, they're not going to have their corporate headquarters there. They're not going to have the CEO there. They'll probably have somebody, somebody that runs the group. But uh, really, that's the largest impact. You know, I think that's something we need to know about because that is that's a huge deal for Milwaukee. I think some people maybe don't understand Kohl's is a, is a significant employer here, has a lot of employees, a very vulnerable community, and and a sale like this will impact its wealth, its employment base, and its activity here in our city. Yikes! What do we know about the buyer, the potential buyer? You know, franchise group. We we, we don't know a lot about it. Not your normal somebody who would buy Kohl's. They are a franchisee. They own something like the vitamin store. Right. They own Pet Supplies Plus. So they op normally operate as a as a franchisor. You know, so this would be interesting because Kohl's clearly is not going to be run that way. It's a retail operation with stores all over the country. So that'll be interesting to see how they match together. But I think we're going to learn a lot more. And, you know, this would be significant if it happened because Kohl's, I mean, a lot of us know Kohl's. A lot of us grew up with Kohl's. Right. You know, from Sydney, from Herb Cole, the Cole family and kind of what it's meant to Milwaukee. I mean, I've said all day that probably the three things you all, always think about in Milwaukee are Harley, right? Mm -hmm. Miller and Cole. So those yep. are the three names that we're really known for. So we, I'd hate to see that, you know, not be headquartered here. Right, oh goodness. Okay, so now we want to get on the topic of a proposed entertainment district. Kind of some good news on the parking lots around American Family Field. Uh, what's the likelihood of this moving forward? You know, I think this is very early and I think it's a trial balloon to see how it would work. You know, we've seen these across the country. We've seen them here. I mean, if you look, I mean, look at Milwaukee right downtown, right around the arena, you've seen kind of an entertainment district there with, you know, you have the restaurants, you have the bars, you have a hotel that's being built. You've seen it up in Green Bay, right around Lambeau Field. You have hotels, you have restaurants, and it's worked very well in those areas. For years, we've had these lots out there. They're just for parking. They're only used 81 times a year right. or they have concerts and stuff. So there's a lot of times when they're not used. So the theory would be to get more revenue from that lot, from those areas throughout this, really throughout the year. The other thing to remember is the Harness Rager site, which is just to the south of this, is gonna be vacated very soon as, as it's moved into the Harbor District. So you have this large swath of land there just to the south. So you can end up having something very, very interesting out there, very, very I mean, really multi-use, but I think it's very early and, and you know, we'll have to see how this works because it would mean a lot of kind of changes for that area. Yeah, and what about the funding as well for that? Yeah, that's probably the, you know, always the $100 million question, right? Who's gonna pay for it? So, it, I mean, if they bring in individuals who would build a hotel there, who would add retail there, they could be doing that. But the thing I think we have to remember for the brewers is that if they do that, they may lose some of their own revenue. Because right now, I mean, if they, I mean, if they have fewer spots to park out there, that's- I was that's thinking about lost. that. Oh my, and if they have the fewer headache. Or, and if they have more restaurants out there, that means fewer people are gonna eat inside the stadium. Mm. So it's a balancing act and one that, you know, we'll have to see how it works. There's no doubt you wanna get more revenue out of that land throughout the year. And really, I mean, we're all heard this about the brewers wanting to improve the stadium, right? To spend right. more money over the next 20 years. Well, kind of where's that money coming from? We know it's not coming from a sales tax because I don't think anyone's going to support that. So we got to find another way. Interesting. Interesting. Mark Cass with the Milwaukee Business Journal. Always great to have your insight yeah. on these developing stories. We'll see you Always back here, here on Thursday. Thank you for your time. <laughs> All right. You have a great week. You too. In the meantime, for more of today's top stories with business, head to bizjournals.com slash Milwaukee. We'll have more news right after this.